Are you freaking kidding me? That's such a freaking bad call. You referee, you're an idiot. You're a freaking, freaking, freaking idiot. Freaking, freaking prick. I'm going to be talking with John Spicer, a fellow Michigan sports lover. Hello, John. Hi. I have. A, I want to talk to you about the Detroit Tigers and their loss in the World Series this year. How do you feel about that? <sighs> Well, well, man, they lost. They got beat. They got their ass kicked. Bottom line, that's what happened. They did really well in the New York series. They did great in that, and then they had to have a freaking week off until the National League teams beat up each other. And then they come in, and they were ready to roll. And Detroit wasn't ready to roll, and Jim Leland didn't have a ready to play. Now let's talk about Jim Leland. Don't even get me going on that. I think the guy sucks. I think he he pisses everybody off, and then he wins something. He cries. He don't win, the, the players win the game. I could get out there and put them players in the right spots. Jim Lennon sucks. He needs to go. Gene Lamont sucks. He needs to go. I've had enough. <coughs> Next question. Okay, Sarah. What, what the hell is that, buddy? It's a microphone. Uh, <laughs> anyway, what do you think about Michigan basketball losing? I wouldn't say an upset, but... Losing the number three. They played really hard tonight. The game was really, really promoted. I couldn't wait myself to watch it. I was excited all day long. I got in and watched the game. I swore a little bit. I cried a little bit. I laughed a little bit. I did a little high five. And but they went in there and they got beat by a good Indiana team. Be a different story the next time around when Mich when Indiana comes to Michigan, the last regular season game of the year. Michigan's gonna beat them. Give me that microphone back. Michigan's gonna beat them by at least ten. Thank you for yeah. that input. What do you think about Trey Burke with 15 points against every Big Ten opponent that they've played so far? At least 15 points, right? Oh, Average 15. 15 points. He's doing something that no other college player's done it since Magic Johnson. Did you realize that? I have. Magic Johnson's the best college player ever to play the game. He's pretty good in the NBA, too. He was pretty good in the NBA, then he got AIDS and he had to quit. HIV, excuse me. Give me that microphone back. <laughs> HIV, the virus that causes AIDS. He never had full blown AIDS. He had HIV. Now they can't find them. They can't even find the HIV thing in him anymore. All right. Now, what do you think about the Pistons trading Tayshawn Prince to the... Well, I'm going to get a lot of slack on this, but it was about three years overdue. Prince was a great pro for the Pistons for a long time. He made the block in Indiana in the finals that sent him to their NBA championship. But it was time for him to go. The Pistons are rebuilding. They need to get younger. Tay was getting the Palace Prince. who was getting kind of old. He can go help with you keep taking that microphone away from me when I'm not done talking. I'm going to walk out of this damn interview. Anyways, where was I at? Okay. He was a good pro for a long time, but he was getting old. Pistons wanted to go young. Joe Dumars, the GM and president of the Pistons, had his hands tied when Mr. Davison died. Karen Davison, his widow, was selling the team so he couldn't make any moves. Um, now he can. So you watch those guys in the next couple years. They'll be good. Thank you. You're welcome. What do you think about, this isn't really Michigan sports, but what, do you, what are your predictions and your stats for tomorrow's Super Bowl? One of the Harbaugh brothers are going to win. Thank you for your input, sir. I like the Niners. I don't like the Niners, but I like the Niners to win the game tomorrow. I think it's going to be a tough, the two best defenses in the NFL, defense wins championships. I'm going to say San Francisco 21, Baltimore 17. I'm so sick of hearing about Ray Lewis. I hope he just rides out. This is one thing that really pisses me off. Ray Lewis, everybody acts like they love him. Don't they for remember 10 years ago this guy was a murderer? He got off it. His buddies got off it. But the facts pointed to him. He's a murderer. I don't like Ray Lewis. He can kiss my ass. That's my opinion on him, too. I didn't know about him murdering somebody. Well, he never was convicted of it, but it looked pretty good. They had a strong case, but somehow he got off it. That's why I didn't know who I wanted to win. That kind of turned me right off there. He shouldn't deserve to play in the NFL just because he got, he had the money and he didn't have to worry about it just because. He had high price lawyers and he does that stupid <laughs> dance that everybody loves. It's all about him. Exactly. That's ridiculous. It's not about him. It's not WWF, the World Wrestling Federation. It's NFL football. It's a team sport. Thank you. You're welcome. What do you think? about Michigan football this year.